right, yeah, and welcome back to some more Rimworld Alpha 17 with our modded run. So, what are we going to do today? Well, we are currently working on electric cremation, and that's going to allow us to get rid of all of these mass graves full of the corpses of our enemies, which will be lovely. Power situation seems to be on top. We do have a little bit of an issue with our cooler, though, and I think it may be about time that we add it in another cooling spot I'm not sure we'll see it kind of flutters at zero and then heads over a little bit which is um, it's a little bad because a lot of this is meat as well it's kind of refrigerating around two to four days at the moment which is plenty of time to use it I would have thought but in a normal situation where we have a normal amount of meat but unfortunately we have a lot of meat so there is that issue we're also very heavily stuck into our teaching. Are we teaching mining right now? Is that what we're teaching? What are we teaching? Is it crafting? Intellectual? Construction? Construction. Alright. Everybody's getting a nice little boost there. I think, um... You are going down in construction. Oh, is it, um... Is it the kind of situation with uh, the, what are they called now? The neuro trainers. You get a nice little learning boost in that skill, but it slowly degrades back down. I think that might be the case. We've actually got ourselves a uh, wooden chalkboard now, which is pretty cool. Um, right at the very end of the previous episode as well, we managed to get ourselves a machining table. And I think it's about time we get that installed somewhere. I don't like how cramped we're getting into this area, but as it stands, not sure we can do anything about that, except for maybe expand it out. I suppose we could expand out our production room a little bit more. Why not, eh? Let's expand that aid area there. And chop down those trees and that bush while we're at it. Get gone, bush. And that one. Sweet. And then we'll deconstruct that wall. We should have plenty of space to spread out all of our stuff there. I'm not sure if we're going to have to have a pillar in the center. I don't think so, but we might. I'll tell you what, just in case, I think that's roughly dead center. I think both of those are dead center, actually. There we go. We'll build that. <laughs> and that'll just make sure for certain, because I think it's 8x8, eight eight, is it, where... Um, you have to have a pillar in the middle to make sure that the the roof is structurally sound. We shall see. Could maybe put in two more improvised turrets. But I think, actually, what we'll end up doing is settling for what we've got right here as a uh, security measure. And then we'll work on more vanilla turrets at some point. Because we get these military-grade turrets and shredder turrets, I think. I assume these are like, uh, yeah, they're like shotgun turrets, essentially, and then sniper turrets, which is cool. Blast turrets? Don't know. Really awesome shotgun ones, long range. Vulcan cannons. Dead and find out what half of that is. I think it's probably like a minigun of awesome, an awesome proportion. Right. Deconstruct that and get the roof in. Nope. Back to teaching. Still two seats short, apparently, of uh, a full classroom. We can work on that. We can put some down here as well. The lesson's finished. Alright, get in there and do that roof. And then I'll order the rest of the wall to be deconstructed. There we go. Just because I know they'll uh, hang about doing bugger all. <laughs> Otherwise, they won't do the uh, the job in the right order. I don't trust them to do it. Right. Let's uh, go to production. Let's go machining table. And stick a machining table in there. Bad temperature, eh? Yeah, it is pretty hot in there. Do I really have to put a cooler in this room as well? I feel like we're uh, eating into our power supply quite a lot. Well, let's do that then, I guess. It might be because we've just opened up the room to uh, exterior temperatures, but I don't know. 
We've almost finished out that stockpile zone. Very good. I do think this fridge is a reasonable size for the colony that we've got right here. It's just that we ended up getting that influx of meat and there was nowhere to put it, which is why we had this issue. So I don't think we have a need for this stockpile zone in the end. We'll expand this out to whatever we need it to be in the future. But what do people think of this room? It's mediocre, mediocre, cramped, pretty dirty. Hmm. Well, I will not deny it is cramped. Certainly not. Ideally, I'd ha like to have everybody have their own bathroom and stuff like that. I think it'd be quite cool. But I think that's a uh, real late game kind of situation. Alright, is there anything new in here from modded stuff? I don't think so. Make helmets, pistols. Could do with maybe somebody making a new... A new weapon, because I know a lot of people have got machine pistols right now. Well, disassemble the mechanoids. Could also maybe do with armored vests and simple helmets and things like that. Possibly. Let's make some sniper rifles. Do until we have two. It's going to take, oh, eight components and 60 steel. I'm going to order... I'm going to have them do that. I think that's fine. But I'm going to have to order some components to be mined out and things like that. There's some components there, but they need access. So, mine that, please. And then, some components there. We're going really far out for all this stuff now. Which is uh, usually a sign that we are running low on the map. All of that. That'll do. Do we need steel? 742. I suppose we could set a single vein somewhere to be mined out. Uh, let's go with... I guess this one up here. Boosh. It's granite. It is. Very nice. We do, of course, have the um, smeltery as well. Getting rid of all those slag chunks. An important job. Alright, this room should get cooled down to at least a reasonable temperature. What is the bad temperature specifically? I can't remember. I think it's any temperature that makes them complain about being hot, which is what that temperature right now is going to be. But, we'll see. Ah. It's not watching while he bathes. That's a bit weird now, isn't it? We have struck compacted machinery. I know. I asked you to go do it. What's that there? Oh, a little bit of wood. Nah, we'll leave it alone. Don't really need it. Limestone, how are we doing? Enough to continue deconstructing and reconstructing this wall. So we'll get that ordered. The lesson is finished. Yay! You're at 18 on constructing now, Hunter. That's really good, actually. Very happy with that. I suppose we could have uh, a temporary wall. Because I know we want to make this out of like solid gold in order to make this rec room the best it can possibly be. Let's not get ahead of ourselves right now, though, because we are being attacked by a horde. And they look to be... Dothraki screamers. Right, let's uh, let's draft everybody. Get them over here. Levi, as usual. Your job. No, your job is to flick switches. You were doing it so well before. Don't let me down. Yeah, power's fine as it is. So, don't have to worry there. I do want you to stand and block though. Gregor, you can man the turret 
all of our incapable of violence people, you are going right up front to be the first who get punched and stabbed. Sorry, but you made your choice when you decided to not help defend the base. Uh, we can go there. And Gosling stands there. Here comes Linda. Do we not man this? Alright, Gosling, you man it. Actually, I want you there. Here we go. Got a little bit of a blank spot there, which is a problem. They're almost getting here, but they won't get through. Yeah, there they go. Hmm. Barely touched a lot of our deadfall traps, actually. Have I set all of these to... There we go. Now I'll set them to rearm. Let's take all of their stuff. And hey, Cobra. Um, prepare to die naked. Alright, undraft everybody. Those two get turned off. Except for that one, actually. I want it to be powered up. Get that battery full again. Oh, you might die in the night. We'll see. Yeah, you're going to die before anyone wakes up. Oh, dear. Well, whose fault is that, Cobra? It's yours. It's your fault. Okay. Hey, Shire. How's it going, bud? You're in a pretty decent mood. Good to know. He likes it. Everything is acceptable. Just missing Plasteel off the uh, the Rimworld globe. Good to know. Oh, heat waves have gone. Let's make sure all of our coolers are turned on. And they are... You even got this one down to 21 degrees. That's a reasonable temperature. It's going to get hot, though. But yeah, everything should be fine. Gosling, the only person got injured. A couple of cuts, and it's already been treated. Cool. We got 134 medicine. And we've got a year to use some of it. Two years for the rest of it. It's fine. I think we're generating enough of it for that to uh, not make much of a difference. And fill the graves. Oh, they've finished off deconstructing that, so let's get that limestone down on that. Finish off that chunk of the wall, and then we'll work on this bit here again. Do it in little pieces so that we're not leaving up weak spots. Alright, we can power that down. It's actually um, powering down right now point where somebody should do it. Noriko, just flick that for me. No! Oh, that's a problem. This takes priority. It's part of the mod. And by take priority, I mean it forces priority. They will not do any work while this teaching is going on. That's a thing. Alright, well. Not too much we can do about that. Oh, you see the uh, the artworks changes as he teaches. That's really cool. I wonder what the globe does. That's a nice little touch. Well done, modder. Whoever it was. I approve of that. Oh, we need this bit doing as well. Huh. Nobody's ever attacked that. How lucky we are. Get that doubly thickened up then. Beef right away in storage. No. Might have to go back to hunting soon. Which is fine, it gets that combat skill up, but. It is 44 degrees after all. So nobody's complaining about heat stroke or anything like that, are they? Somebody's. Oh dear! Oh, obviously it's going to be that little bit there. Cut off our turrets. Ah. 
Gosley, where are you right now? Beating the fire out. That's right. That's right, Gosley. Get on it. Well, at least we have our backup non-power requiring um, turrets as well. That's good. Mind if somebody added uh, some steel to that conduit, though? That'd be lovely. Intent? Anybody? What's this? Smithing. Do we actually... We don't really have a smith. We've got Gregor. But he does mining and wardening and things like that first. Might bump you down to a two. And you should do smithing then. Bye. Are you still going to dig? Fair enough. You want to dig, you dig. Oh yeah, that makes sense. He does mining first, and then when the mining's done. I bump it like that. I'm not sure if I actually even want you to be the smith, Gregor. To be perfectly honest, it's a seven skill. We want tens. Um, Linda's usually our tailor. Miller, be a three in smithing. Do smithing. I've got you doing a lot of jobs, though, which is not something that's ideal. More of our meat's rotting away. Unfortunately. There's not really a great deal we can do about that until we build in another cooler. And in the process of building this cooler, it's actually just going to make things rot away even quicker. But I guess it has to be done. Work on the cooler for me instead. Thank you. Yeah, there goes all of our meat. Faster, guys. Faster. Keep it going. Bundy's in a bad mood. Very hot. Bad lesson. I didn't like today's lesson for some reason. Alright, well. Fair enough. In a little pain. Eight without a table. Observe corpses. Some of those are just very, very temporary things. Goslings on the teaching again. Fair enough. Most of the beef's gone now. That really sucks. Keep going, guys. Oh, you! Seriously, both of you? Now you're eating raw meat. I... I... I have no words. I simply have no words for this. Get that down to... Ah. Reset. Minus three. Hopefully we can get that down to freezing quick enough. Come on. 15. It's really slowly going down. Which is a problem. Hmm. But that should fix the fluctuations anyway. We are officially frozen. Okay. Well, the meat situation is a little bit lackluster now. So I guess we're going to order some uh, hunting. Uh, let's hunt down you guys. And you, and you, and you. That'll do. We don't really need too much meat right now, but... Yeah. What can you do? The heat wave's over. <laughs> Bloody hell. Ah. Let's, uh... It's gonna cost us 50 per bit of wall. Hmm. Interesting. What do people think of this space in there? Very spacious. I'll have to look at how much um, space is required 
to get it to where it needs to be because we're going to be filling up this space as well which is going to be a thing I need to know how many point values we need to make sure that the space is perfect because everything on that list right there needs to be perfect in order for this to become a wonder of the, wonder of the world so this might not be big enough I get the sneaky suspicion it's not so I'll have to look between episodes and in fact you know what I'll do that right now because we've actually run on long enough so if you did enjoy the content anyway guys then be sure to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that little bell icon right next to the subscription button and that will give you notifications when I release new videos I do hope you've enjoyed and I will see you next time bye bye